Race driving is just like anything else. If you have confidence in your car and yourself, it's always possible to win. If you don't have confidence, victory is practically impossible. Winning a stock car race takes a lot more than just a hot car. Everybody starts the race, but it takes a combination of many things to finish. Sure-footed roadability, rugged axles and suspension, dependable brakes and steering, instant engine response, economical performance plus long life durability. All the things, in fact, that everybody needs in a family car today beefed up for racing purposes. In any race, whatever helps my stock car win helps the family car run better and safer too. I'll drive 500 miles in one race at speeds up to 160 miles an hour. That's like years of normal driving on the family car's suspension and engine. Or take brakes. Braking at 150 miles an hour used to burn up our inner tubes and blow the tires. Not anymore. The engineers licked the heat problem for us. Same with the cooling system. A few years ago, we'd be boiling over in 10 minutes at top speeds. Today, we can run all day wide open, even on the hottest summer days. Same with the frame, axles, wheels, differential, you name it. Racing places uncommon stresses on these components. The engineers figured out why and designed new total performance components, and the public got the benefit. Curtis Turner has a point. Competitive events are important because the public always wins.